with the special AB elections fast approaching. Artlets are about to decide whether to support candidates who vow to look after them during this period of uncertainty. If Denzel Jude Caro and Frances Lisa Buensuceso secure enough votes to be elected as president and auditor respectively, they would face nagging issues including clashing views on resuming face-to-face classes, complaints about the academic workload, and the higher tuition down payment. Caro and Buen Suceso would also have the unenviable task of balancing the interests of both the students and the administration. The Flame now asks, given the present circumstances, do you think the two unopposed candidates are the student leaders who we need? My name is Paulo Jericho D. Manuel. So, I am Paul Michael Francis Paul. So, hello. Uh, my name is Joshua Patrick Kaluma. So, hello. I am Ernest Martin G. Dawson. I'm from philosophy and I'm a fourth year student. And uh, also, ito Mashak. I graduated in political science in year 2009. I've been with the university for four years. Um, I'm a freshman from the first year AB Political Science uh, program of the University of Santo Tomas. I am also a batch representative of the of my batch uh, for year 2025. A second year journalism student from the University of Santo Tomas. Of I envision the future of the AB community as the frontier of positive change for the nation, not just in uh, the community of the university but in the entire nation as well you can see that it might become a more dynamic and a more active community it's not really a vision of the future of the ab community but more or less um an understanding that we still have that unity and in, in diversity as i said before um kung para sa akin kung ina-envision ko yung kung isang leader man ako or isang student man lang ako ng, ng aba gusto ko yung community natin ay maging the conditions to bring about positive change are very favorable for those in the AB community. We have always been in the forefront of change, even in times of crisis. Diba? Back then, it was martial law. Right now, it's the pandemic. I truly hope that the AB community will live up to that legacy. Okay. In the sense that, what? I'm looking at the AB community to have more and so sure in the sense that uh, there will be more discourse to the different actors not only the students not only the professors but everyone involved in the AB community second we can go beyond academic excellence we can go beyond academic pursuit and i, I do think that the AB community particularly to become more active when it comes to their civic responsibilities third one uh, i do hope that we can become a more internationalized community it can also help improve how the professors how the instructors would teach and it's it's it is a challenge no but uh it's a challenge that i think will be good for the future of the AB community um whenever we move forward or, or whenever we go forward to attain a goal we do it as a program or as a faculty, despite our many differences. Kasi, ang napapansin ko na problema natin ngayon, or problema ng iba sa, hindi naman sa UST lang, kahit, kahit sa buong Pilipinas, is hindi tayo nakakaunawa ng ibang tao. Parang, hindi natin ma, hindi natin mapaalala sa students at least na nag-iisa sa laban nila. Feel ko yun yung pinak, isa yun sa mga pinaka need, ma visualize para, or isa yun sa need ma, isa yun sa pinaka need na makita sa isang community ng AB. Kasi kung ako man, nung freshman year ko, I, I, I must admit na hindi ganun naging, hindi masyado naging active yung AB or di, yung ABSC or di ko man lang napansin. Or ngayon, I can see that they are doing their job naman in terms of pushing and giving out different platforms and programs that can benefit the community. Now, we also need leaders who could execute high-quality events. We need leaders that have a particular goal in mind that uh, this is what they want for their, what they want to achieve as leaders, what they want to achieve when they are already in the position. Ngayon, the current pandemic, the artlets need a leader who will listen. Straight of understanding others. Kasi, kasi ngayon naman, wala akong magagawa kung hindi intindihin na yung situation ng ibang tao. During our time, we focus solely on student welfare and upholding the voice 
of the AB students when it comes to the policies of the university. There is, however, one thing that we sorely lack back then, and that is the execution of events that would be relevant for the AB community. Second, we need democratic leaders, people who are willing to be uh, willing, willing and open to engage in deliberate democracy. Meaning, you are you are open to discourse, you are open to dialogue okay, with all stakeholders, and not just uh, rely on your own decision. Secondly, a leader who will be able to, um, I, I don't think there's an, uh, a better English equivalent, pero a leader who is able na magpakumbaba sa sarili or magpakumbaba for his or her uh, fellow um, artlets. Doon lang sa same thing, pag-unawa sa mga sitwasyon natin ngayon, ay eh, malayo na malating kasi simple pag-unawa ng isang student leader sa faculty of arts and letters, feel ko, malayo na malating kasi yun lang naman gusto ng students at the end of the day. Gusto lang nila yung maunawaan sila sa gusto nila and gusto lang nila yung mainig yung suggestion nila. Later, the, the leaders that AB needs uh, during these trying times are the ones who will be pros while also uh, being the kind of leader who could execute high quality events to make the pandemic a little bit more bare. Um, consistent with the uh, core values of the university, we need compassionate leaders right now. People who are willing to uh, help their fellow students, their fellow artlets. The third and final one would be someone who embodies the student leader. And that leader should be able to um, create a link or somehow able to be be a bridge or para a connection between those differences. <laughs> Vote on the national elections and vote on your local student council elections. The artists should have the proper mindset. When they go there, they will vote for a person who can really engage uh, the students well, those who can really talk about the issues faced by the students today. It's cliche, man, or it's ironic. And paulit ulit man siya, we hear it in mainstream media, but we always have to exercise our right to vote carefully or we have to vote wisely. Kasi, syempre, yung pinaka-basic, hindi naman basic, yung pinaka-madaling sabihin ngayon is to exercise the right to vote by, regist- by, by registering for the 2022 national elections and to vote next week. So, dun pa lang, may exercise na dapat nila yung right to vote nila kasi students should be selfless when it comes to voting. Should not hesitate to vote. This fear that, uh, okay, uh, I own one vote, I might not be significant when it comes to the result of the elections, but that's not true. We should remove that kind of thinking. For, for the artlets, you should you should never hesitate to vote. You should practice your right to vote because this may be your opportunity uh, or this may be a preparation for the elections in real life. I, I want the artlets to to really go beyond just the elections. You have to go beyond voting. Meaning, uh, there are students that might only be active during elections, but after elections, they stop being active. Um, We cannot just vote just because they promised us something. I think that's the problem with student politics and politics in general. It's that we create promises that in the end, hindi naman pala natin a-attain. Siguro ako, ang masasabi ko lang, for the artists to uphold and especially to enshrine their right to vote and to suffrage. I think the the ultimatum or the uh, the end goal or the end point here is that our practice or the right to vote is something which should not be parang binabaliwala lang. Kasi if there was uh, one program which I was listening to on the radio the other hand, it, um, they said that one vote can really change the tide of an election. Pag hindi nila na-vote kasi, iniisip, halimbawa, kasi personal experience ko to dati nung senior high pa ako, na parang, perfect pa hindi ako nag-vote, ako lang ba yung apektado doon? Hindi. Kasi pag hindi ako bumoto, apektado din yung buong, yung buong student body namin. Kasi, kasi mali mo, hindi maganda yung leader na naboto. And dahil lang sa isang boto ko, which could have made a, a big difference, siya yung naboto. And walang, walang naging progress yung... <clears throat> wala naging progress yung student body namin dahil nandun sa isang vote na hindi na ano. So yun, a small vote can make a huge difference. It's really up to the AB students at the end of the day. But uh, it really saddens me that, that only two AB students run. We'll never be sure. There is no assurance that they are really the student leaders we need. Um, I do think that the two candidates 
or the two elects are what the ABS needs or what the ABSC needs in terms of someone to rally behind. We need kasi ngayon yung student leaders na ready na talaga sa gantong position. Do I think that the two unopposed candidates are the student leaders we need? It really depends on the decision of the AB community itself. And usually, if you're going to ask me if you're going to run an opposed, that's a bit problematic uh, when it comes to the system itself. Because uh, if, if we are trying to promote democracy, then competition and uh, opposition are very important. However, on the other side, we could actually say that they might be okay, very promising candidates. They know that they uh, are the They already know that they are on post, but they still continue. No? They continue their pursuit for, let's say, serving the AB community. And although it's difficult to really determine the intentions of people, we could see that they are determined, they, they really want to serve, uh, they had that initiative. So I think that's a good start. Okay? That's a good start. And maybe these people can prove later on they are what the AB community needs when it comes to leadership to navigate these times na it's hard to lead without let's say um, a lantern or let's say a light in front sometimes the lantern will flicker sometimes that lantern will grow a little bit dim but somehow kahit pa paano you'll, be, you'll still be able to see your way ahead now relating that image to the president and auditor elect recent meeting the Avance we saw that they had certain issues to brush up on certain platforms to check Um, certain ideologies as well, lalo na yung um, sa president-elect due to his answer on um, his stance against active student activism. There are still things that they, they both need to improve upon. But nevertheless, I do think that the ABSC needs certain people like them. Kasi syempre, we cannot find a leader who will always agree or who will always address the certain issues on time or Um, before or either against your issues, whether you like it or not. So to answer the question, as of now, they, they yung 50-50 talaga ako kasi yung president, hindi ko nga siya i-vote dahil malami pa siyang need matutunan about the local, com- lo- local community inside AB, about activism, about hearing out other people's opinions and the like. And for the auditor naman, baboto ko siya dahil may alam, may alam na naman yun siya. May mga kaya na niya mag, maging empathetic towards the other members of the local student council, which is good. Well, yun nga, he, she needs to work on her other beliefs and to hear out the opinions of different different people, especially the LGBT, dahil nga dun sa cross-dressing na sinabi niya. So, ayun, at the end of the day, marami pa silang matutunan. Both candidates need to learn a lot more 